What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm super excited to finally sit down and record this video for the third time in a row. Um, this video today is shares my thoughts, uh, review and wear test of the new and most awaited foundation of the year 2017. So this video is going to be all about the Huda Beauty Foundation right over here and I'm super excited to share my thoughts with you guys. Um, my Snapchat fam told me that they wanted to see a like a tutorial or like a um, first impression review or whatnot on this foundation and I said, honey I got you, honey I got you. So this video is all about the Huda Beauty Foundation, if you clicked on this link it's because you want to know a little bit more about this foundation and I'm super excited that you are here. I'm Frances Michelle and I want to welcome you to my channel and I want to welcome you to my family so if you guys want to be part of my girlfriend's squad here on YouTube all you have to do is hit that subscribe button right down there and just follow me on my social media sites which are all on the description box down below so we can be family, we can be friends, we can talk to each other. So if you guys want to see my thoughts and my opinions on the new Huda Beauty Fox filter foundation all you have to do is I'll grab a snack and get comfortable and let's go and watch okay so guys <clears throat> let's start off with the packaging of this baby right here so packaging wise this is the uh, box that the foundation came in and as you can see there we go as you can see it's a black matte box with her logo her name on the box Huda Beauty just like she has on everything else on her um, makeup line so this is what it's called it's called the hashtag fox filter foundation the main like the main reason of this foundation is that she wanted you know how we normally swipe right to get that perfect filter on snapchat to smooth out all our beautiful imperfections so pretty much she wanted to create a foundation that it was that it was a filter that you didn't have to pretty much wear a you didn't have to go and be like, I need a filter. Okay, so guys, um, the foundation itself is a supposed to be a matte finish. It has a uh, radiance finish to it. It's not gonna give you that mattifying, drying look. It's going to it, it claims that it's going to give you that silky um, radiance finish to it. It's not gonna be dull. And also, it comes a thirty foundation 30 shades of this foundation so i think it's a pretty good range of colors so everyone out there can get their own color this is what the bottle oh, my arm okay this is what the bottle looks like she wanted to go with that look of glass but she didn't want you to be carrying a glass bottle when you travel and she actually did an amazing job at the bottle itself the bottle is that um it's a it's actually plastic it just looks like it's glass and she kind of made it like really dark on the bottom and you can see the foundation and the top of it and it's beautiful but wait until you see it oh, it has a pump you guys a pump a foundation with a pump it's my boss friend um and just the fact that it's kind of black on the bottom and the cap i just think it's a very sexy foundation <laughs> So it's 1.18 fluid ounce, so it's a little bit over one ounce. So it's I think it's a pretty good, decent size for a foundation. And it runs for 40 bucks at Sephora.com or select a Sephora's. I don't think any select to Sephora has um scaring them yet. I purchased mine online. Um, how did I pick my shade? <laughs> um I study her swatches. I went onto her blog and she put on um, comparisons of um, other foundations like the actual uh, Fenty Beauty foundation. She actually put some shades of those two and she kind of compared her shades with other foundations. And then I kind of saw all the swatches of the girls that were using them or whatever. And I kind of just went for it and I grabbed the Toasted Coconut 240N. Um, it is a full coverage. Um, it says it's medium to full coverage, but guys, you I you said before, you guys will see how amazing this foundation is once I try it on. So, first off, we're gonna prep my face. Um, I just moisturized right now. I'm just gonna prep my face with my vitamin infused um, my chambers. I prep my skin. I'm gonna use the my primer. Um, she does have a primer for this. It's called the complexion perfection pre-makeup base and it actually came with a 
with a actually came with a sample so that's pretty cool so I'm gonna just go ahead and use my primer and I did not buy I did not buy the, the her foundation a brush I feel like those things are just extra honestly speaking I feel like if you have foundation brush you have beauty blenders you can definitely make it work okay so let's go ahead and start trying the foundation out I am going to be using my beauty blender. This beauty blender is from e.l.f. It's their silicone beauty blender, which I am totally obsessed with that blender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to really show you the consistency of this foundation. Look at this. So it is not too thick and definitely not too watery where you can see it running down my my finger. I feel like the texture on this foundation gives a lot to say with the coverage of the foundation and now i do have to point this out real quick to you guys very important this foundation has such a delightful scent that i am obsessed with how good it smells it smells like a yummy lotion that you're putting on your face like i have never in my life ever smelled any foundation that smells this good so that's like a plus to this foundation. So let's go ahead and start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one side of my face and I want to see the coverage of it. So let's just do this side. Okay, so this is my face right here with foundation and this here is my face without the foundation look at the coverage guys I barely I never put it on my under eyes but I'm just gonna do a little bit because my under eyes are really bad okay so there we go beautiful finish guys super super full coverage as you can see like my beautiful imperfections are still all over the place but at the same time your skin looks radiant look at that do you see that kind of glow and I'm not an oily person so I don't have an oily skin so let's just finish the rest of the face okay guys so here is the complete look with only the foundation, I feel like it's just, I wish you guys can really smell it. Like I am truly, I just love the texture of the foundation. I love the finish of this foundation, guys. Like I'm not lying when I say this is one of the best, if not the best foundations I've tried in my life. I have nothing to lose with Huda Beauty. I know, I bought this with my own money. I am giving you a 110 opinion on this product right here and I have to say the finish of this foundation even though it's a matte it still gives you that radiance looking skin I absolutely love it and the scent of this foundation is amazing so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup all I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna set my foundation with powder I normally set my foundation with loose powder this time I'm not gonna set my foundation because I'm I want you guys to see how it looks with everything and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and run some errands and do things that I have to do at, um, normally that I do with my kids and myself um, and then what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna give you I'm just gonna wrap it up and give you guys um, pretty much my final thoughts on this foundation as of right now before everything applied to my skin I love how healthy and glowy my skin looks I love how it covered every single imperfection of my face I did not have to color correct anything as you guys saw I had nothing before the foundation just my primer moisturizing and my prep spray but it managed to cover so much <laughs> okay guys so let's just go ahead and jump into the second part of this video okay guys so right now it is a 4 46 in the afternoon as you can see 4 46 in the afternoon and I pretty much had it on all day. I had it on since I'm going to say 7.30 in the morning. It's when I decided to do my makeup. So it's been a way over eight hours. And um, I really want you guys to see 
the finish of this. Um, with this look, I didn't set my foundation. I want you guys to know that I did not set my foundation like I normally do with powder. All I did was pretty much set my under eyes of my concealer. And that is all I did. I didn't do the sides how I do it. Um, I didn't apply powder. I just wanted to see how the products blended with the foundation. And I have to say that everything blended perfectly. Everything blended the way it was supposed to blend. Um, so pretty much um, everything worked together perfectly fine. It doesn't call, this, the foundation doesn't call to be uh, an 8 hour, a 12 hour or a long, uh, or a long, um, long wear foundation. It does not say. But I have to say more than 8 hours, running errands, do, dealing with kids, the foundation, everything still sets in its place. Um, I don't have oily skin so I can't tell you that it um, made my skin oily but um, definitely being a matte finish definitely did not make my skin look dry as you guys can see i i'm a, I'm, I'm impressed guys well actually i'm not impressed because everything she comes out with is bomb so my overall opinion my overall intake on this foundation hell yeah should you buy it hell yeah should you have it in your makeup counter in your makeup drawer whatever yes 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 a hundred times yes you guys know that I have nothing to lose here. It's not like Huda Beauty sends me her stuff because she does it. <laughs> one day though, one day. <laughs> so, let's go from the back, from the beginning. Packaging wise, 10. I mean, look at this. Looks like glass, it's not glass. You can take it everywhere and it's not heavy. $40 for a, a little bit over one ounce of foundation. Blendability, beyond durability, beyond so i am truly obsessed guys like i'm not going to lie to you i have no reason to lie to you so um my overall opinion two thumbs up you should definitely buy foundation if you're looking for a foundation that is going to last all day you're looking for a foundation that is going to give you amazing coverage without the feel of having too much makeup on your skin um, if you're looking for a foundation that is going to give you a flawless a looking finish Thank you guys so much for sticking until the end Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios